Okay, we are back with... Hey. Well, you can say that this is a date with K. Also, I'm watching you, K. Don't you dare do anything strange to Sunny. You hear me? Or there will be consequences. So let's just go, shall we? aim to make it there early, but when you arrive, K is there already to work. He is sitting near the entrance, eyes closed and wearing earbuds. Hey, you call out to him, but there's no response. <laughs> Obviously, he is wearing an earbud, what do you expect? The earbud, does he not hear you? Yeah, you tap his shoulder to get his attention. Did he just say M? Did he or uh, all person say M? Oh my god, that's really bad. I didn't expect K to be the type of person who dreams like that. K jumped in surprised, clearly not expecting that. I was kinda thinking that K is one of those daring person. Daring you. Sunny? Whoa! Whoa, you're early. Nothing. Unless I misheard the time. Misheard the time? What is wrong with Sunny being early? Are you implying that Sunny is tardy? Are you, are you challenging us? Oh yeah, I use a voice assistant on my phone to help out with things like that. Ah. Ah, accessibility feature. Ah, very nice. That makes sense. But anyway, I'm early. Says the person who got here before, mm, before me. Good point, honey. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. well, figured I get here ahead of time so I could listen to something while I wait. I wanted to get here first so that you wouldn't have to be the one waiting. Mm, what a gentleman. What were you listening to? Uh huh. What is it? Is it some kind of music? Oh, audiobook. Then, what books? What book are you listening to? Okay. 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 I, I knew it. Well, then tell what book he's reading. Secret. He gives you. He gives you a cheeky grin before standing up from the bench. All right. Let's get going. Sure. You. You and not K. Well. Huh? No. 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 You and K not Wait wait let me think. Oh You not you and Oh You not and K walks along beside you, matching your footstep almost in perfect sync. Okay then the I'll do. Now that you are actually here you realize something you hadn't really thought about before. Normally, you and Kai will be talking about your families. <laughs> Gossiping about your family, yeah? And anything outside of that was secondary. That's not exactly the type of thing you can discuss in public, though. What exactly can you talk to him about this time? Is this what it feels like to go out for a drink with a co worker and found out you have nothing in common outside of work? <laughs> Maybe you're overthinking this. Well, as long as you both of you can still talk, then okay. You know what? Uh, for I think I've been really suspicious and kind of harsh to carry. So I'm just gonna be a little bit only down, only down. Okay? I'm gonna give you a benefit of it. Okay, please, for the love of God, don't fail me. You are awfully quiet, huh? His voice breaks the silence. Sorry. For what? Being quiet? <laughs> yes? You don't need to apologize for that, you know. I wasn't saying it to criticize you. You don't even need to talk. I'm just fine. I'm fine just walking and enjoying the weather. Thanks. Oh. You feel slightly comforted by that? 
Is walking really all that fun for you? I mean, can't see any of the park scenery, but I can hear the birds and feel the sun. Oh, don't worry about me, unless you are asking because you are not having a good time. No, that's not it. I don't really understand much about how to keep conversation going. That is honey. I usually just spend my time listening when I'm with Shannon, so I don't know what sort of topics to bring up with other people. It's because Shannon keeps talking. It's okay. Hmm. I guess I'm sort of the same way. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? You didn't expect that. I mean, you two are walking like this. I don't think. You seem to know what to say, just wait a minute. You seem to know what to say, just fine in my opinion, okay then? I'm just saying what pops into my head, really. Okay, so you're just saying whatever crosses your mind, eh? That's kinda good, straightforward, nice. I like people like that. Although sometimes that's, that is bad too. It is funny, I feel like I'm supposed to be better at this sort of thing, but I'm just not. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. No, I myself I feel this extrovert and introvert stuff I see with the science, I think it is. Or it isn't, I don't know. I think I'm an extrovert. I really love I really love interacting with people. I love going out and talk to people or stuff like that, but here's the problem. I'm not good at at articulating myself, expressing myself. Which is really painful, you know, for an extrovert to not be able to express themselves. He said he seems they're fine, but that was an understatement. Hey, is actually very easy to talk to. Yes. Aren't you worrying too much? I can imagine anyone being around you and thinking, oh, he sure doesn't know how to talk. Doesn't that mean you're worrying too much as well, though? <laughs> How so? Because you said you don't understand conversation either, but you're talking to me just fine. Ah, oh, I see. Sunny, you are worrying about yourself too much. See, I told you. Sunny, you keep saying that you're not cute, you're not interesting, you're blah 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 blah, you're not wild, but, but you are. Right? You over, not overestimate, you underestimate yourself, which is... Bad. I'm not really. Why are you being mad? Don't try to flatter me. See? See, Sunny, you're doing it again. It isn't flattery. If you think I'm okay to talk, that means you're okay to talk as well. You're just being hard on yourself for no reason, Sunny. Don't think bad thoughts about yourself when they have literally no basis in reality. Yeah, I mean. Have you done uh, any research or stuff like that, honey? Mm -hmm. Have you done any academic research, like giving surprise to people or literally... I don't know, how else do you test your alphabet or not? Okay, let's continue. You are taken aback by those words. No basis in reality. Yeah. You have... Hey, that, that is subjective. You have always. Oh no! I, I thought you were gonna say that you have always thought yourself to be uh, unattractive, untalkable, uninteresting. But uh, instead, she says yourself down to earth and realistic. So what case is saying sounds boring to you? Are you sure you don't just have your head stuck in the cloud? What? You're too nice to people, probably. Perhaps you seem like that kind of person. What kind of person are you talking about, Sonny? What kind of person? Hey, comes across as the sort of guy who just. Oh, okay. I thought you were, you were a guy at uh, say who just say anything that crosses his mind, which is he just say before, so don't need to tell that again. But it's actually. Who just say anything to bring a smile to someone's face, which is okay then. No. No, that's not it, really. But his reaction is honest shock at your accusation. Oh. You have 
got to stop deciding things about other people as if they are fact even if you got no proof. Wait. Well. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that is correct. Not even. It should be even if you got proof. Even if you got no proof. I mean. Oh, no, that, that's. Uh, that sentence is strange. I don't know. I'm not an English speaker. Have you seen me around anyone but you? Mm -hmm. Well, no, you, you keep entering the room at the middle of the night. I guess not. But exactly, so then jump to conclusion, okay? Well, what is wrong with jumping to conclusion? I mean, I mean, opinion can change. Like, this, you know, that this course exists. Uh, is that how you say it? This course or something like that? So. You, it is okay for you to have an opinion about something, then it will change in the future. I mean, having an opinion is okay, but enforcing that opinion when there's no proof backing it, that's strange. No, that's bad. He actually sounded upset, but, but if you're angry, I will not impose that to you. Okay? Oh, okay. Right now I'm giving you the benefit of doubt, so I'm just gonna pat you in the back for making sorry of it. For, well, for uh, making sorry for it because Sunny makes you mad, upset. You feel like the things you say it should have been taken as a compliment, isn't it good to be told you're easy to talk to? Well, Sunny hears me. The one that decided. That it's a compliment or not, is the one who hears it. Understand? So, when you're. Well, it is true that you can think, oh, this is a compliment, this isn't a compliment. Like, saying freak. You think that saying freak to people is not a compliment? Well, it, let's just say it, it's too difficult to talk about. Let's just say that. Yeah, something like this. Hey, you're pretty tough-hearted. You think that it's a compliment, but then when it goes, communication is between not just between you and a, an, an, an object. It's between two subjects. So when you're saying something, it goes through the length, and then when it arrives at the other person, it translates to different thing based on the person. So you may be perceive it as a compliment, the other person may perceive it as an insult. So when that happens, it is better to apologize, because you're the one that uttered the word. The word is not centralizing you. Still, so K doesn't seem happy at all, in fact, nah, he's now gone completely silent. You want to break the tension, but aren't sure what to say. You know, the easiest way to break the uh, tension is just to suddenly do a monkey dance in the public that, that would be really awkward but that will do that will break the tension really sorry excuse me Sunny come on apologize apologize see I shouldn't have gotten all fired up about it like that I didn't mean to make things weird I hardly describe that as being fired up if anyone should be apologize that apology Oh. See, I, I'm not really good being. Uh, this, this is painful. Being an extrovert and you barely able to say a word without sometimes stuck in your lips, in your mouth. Wait, let me slow down. Apologizing. If anyone should be apologizing, it is me. Ah, that's better. You're too nice, Sunny. Too nice? Hmm. Just starting to wonder if Kay actually understands anything about you. Too nice. Hmm. What is it now? He seems to be deep in thought. Something tells you his mind is somewhere completely boring to you. But then again, you can really blame him. I know I said it kind of rudely last time, but I really didn't mean it when I said you seem like you have got your heads up in the cloud sometimes. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? 
you try to figure out how to work what you're thinking. <laughs> this, this is really hard for me. Like, you look like you're a million miles away. I guess sometimes I just think about certain things and everything else becomes like background noise. What sort of things are you thinking about during those times? You know, when, when I am not constructing something, I need to write stuff constructively or talks about it. If not, I will trail off to other things like it should be a straight line when talking, but instead I go A, B, then C, and then D, E, but I didn't go to F like that. I just go straight down instead of left. Instead to the right. From the left to the right, I just go straight down to whatever direction other than what I'm trying to say. I don't know, my past, my parents, my home. Oh. Oh? You, you are supposed to look sad, not. Huh? Huh? Oh? Okay. Why are those things specifically? <laughs> he makes a humming sound and tilt his head like he's trying to figure out and answer to the question. Well, he doesn't know his family. Oh, the music stopped. Who is it? A mystery character, let me guess. The guy with the black jacket? Different voice. Oh, oh so okay. What's a boy? It's a girl. Is she a friend of K? Nope. Let me guess. Ah, okay. Thumbnail. Finally, a thumbnail ma material. Oddly enough, oddly though, she stops in front of you rather than in front of K. Ah, uh, can I help you? There's something wrong, girl? Why are you staring at sideways? What is your name? Fancy girl, what is your name? What? Uh-huh. The girl stares at you with curious eye. Why is she so fairly close? Confusion course through you and suspicion along with it. Why is this stranger talking to you? Jasper. I don't think that this person is Jasper, so the person supposedly after you pops into your mind. Fear? Hmm? The girl seems to be confused by your lack of response, apparently sensing your discomfort. His A steps in closer to you and speaks in a hushed tone. <laughs> See, I told you, Sunny. I mean, Jasper is a he. Not a she, but I don't know. I don't know right now. Perhaps. Perhaps K is kinda insensitive to differentiating between people's sexual and gender. You are safe. At K reassurance, you managed to settle your nerves enough to answer the girl. Sunny. I see. Is he? I'm sorry, but I. <clears throat> but have I met you before? She doesn't look familiar, but perhaps she is a friend of Shannon. My name is Natalia. Natalia. I hope you and I can become friends. I hope you and I can become friends. Hmm. Suddenly you get a friend. I have no idea what you were talking about. Have a nice day. Uh, that's all? You, you only say that we can become friends and then you are go without exchanging number or talking more? Oh, that, that was quick. Ending the already odd encounter on an even odder note, the girls turn to walk away. At last minute, so someone grabs her shoulder and stops her. Oh, she looks like that. Okay. Then. Okay. Oh my. Oh, okay. Someone else. Oh, Natalia, you awkward little thing. From the sound, is that a boy you now? A teasing sort of voice comes from the blonde man with long hair who has now joined in it. Apologize for that, my dear. He smiles at you, a charming, rather dazzling smile. Ah, Prince Charming here. Natalia is a tad awkward, but she means well, I'm terrible. Where's Terrell? Oh, okay, probably he doesn't have any spirit yet. Sprite. Wait, how do you say it? Spirit? Sprite? Isn't Sprite a drink? No, I don't know. 
Nice to meet you, I guess. Tensing up again a new present, Kay, Kay brushes his arm against yours as, he, as if he reminds you that he is here for you. She is a shy girl, you see, but she thought you were quite adorable and simply had to... to mm -hmm. She thought you were quite adorable. My hi, that girl looks adorable, I... will get to know her. Ariel? Natalia looked like she might hiss at it. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the look of person who is gonna hiss at someone. That's the look of the person who, when you both walk away, will probably try to break the body of the person. <laughs> Ariel. Wow! No need for the scary glare, dear. I'm doing you a favor, I promise. Ariel lets go of her shoulder and pats her back in a manner that somehow seems polite and Undersensing at the same time. No longer being stopped from leaving, Natalia quickly <laughs> runs off. Ariel, on the other hand, stays put. Okay, bye, Natalia. Sorry about her. I suppose I'll have to be her wingman. Hmm? Wingman. Mm -hmm. He hands you a piece of scrap paper with some writing on it. Consider adding her if you get a chance, Kay. Sure. Ta ta! Papa. Papa. Siri. Okay, I have a Okay, then uh, have a nice day. Wait a minute, you got a number from someone but you didn't add K yet. Shame. Shame it. With that, with that, he waves and chases off after Natalia. That was definitely one of the most awkward meetings you have ever had. You look down at the paper and see, you see that a username is written down on it. You are sure popular, huh? A teasingly winks at you. I'm not. Something like that has never happened before. <laughs> well, it is a, a not in the counter. I mean, what are the chances you suddenly get stopped by someone and that person is hitting on you? Eh. Well, is there anything else you want to do, Sonny? T today, Sonny? You think about that for a moment. I think I'll go home. Why not? Let's go to the smoothie bar. Uh-huh. It will be a short, short walk for me. And Shannon did give you her extra coupon too. Well, I don't know if you would be interested, but there's a smoothie bar nearby that recently opened. Let's do it. Alright. Smoothie time. When was the last time I drank smoothie? Did I think it's a few years back there. I don't drink smoothie anymore. I never get a chance. Oh my god, I I, I have a, a story. Today I just... When I was going around the store, I found this cheap, brand new chocolate brand. So... I... Not... How do you say it? Chocolate drink brand. Real chocolate, not those tasteless stuff and I buy it. I instantly buy it. Because it has been years. How long has it? Six years? Six? Eight? I don't know. Since I since the last time I drink warm chocolate. I'll just grab it, buy it and then go home and make a cup of it. Is it a cup or what do you call it? Yeah a cup from Put one spoon of the powder, the glass, the cup, and then I pour a boiling water in. Waiting for a while, and then I drink. Very nice. Reminds me of the old times. But then I suddenly make a mistake and spill the almost half of it on the floor. Just break it up. Okay, that enough. Ranting, well, let's continue. Shannon did say you could use it whenever you want, but you make a mental note to treat Shannon there at some point anyway. Nice, we are at the cafe. Do you already know what you're going to order? Yes, strawberry. Strawberry what? I can't forget. Strawberry lemonade. Sunny's favorite drink. Interesting choice at a place that specializes in smoothies. Shannon, give me a coupon. 
Will I read the menu for you? You can pick for me as long it, as it has banana in it. Banana makes best smoothies. Hmm. Hmm. I'm kinda thinking of a prank idea. You know, if I have a spirit, then it, then it could be Pixie, the mischief being. Haha. <laughs> you know, if I'm there, I'll probably gonna switch. Hey, ring. I'm gonna pull it a little bit away from him, then put up a real banana. In but no, no, it's just a little joke. I will not do anything. But I'll re return the drink after that. I don't think I know your taste well enough to pick something I know you like. I'm pretty easy going. Try me. Well, you like banana. Why not banana lemonade? Which banana smoothie will you get for K? Tropical fruit, fruit combination, chocolate and vanilla for the yogurt. Something simple, classic. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Judging from K personality. Cafe? Cafe will be quite nice. But a tropical fruit combination? Sounds so nice. But then again, this is colorful. This is cool, not cool. Serious, calm manner. This one, the bland one, with where you get roasted by Gordon Ramsay. So I'm gonna go with this one. The surprisingly sweet. Uh huh. We'll have one strawberry lemonade and one chocolate banana smoothie. You got it, drink maker. Oh, that sounds really good. I love chocolate. I'm glad. Here you go. Enjoy. Thanks. After grabbing the drinks, you and Kai sit down at one fruit table. So you enjoy going to the smoothie bar, and you like banana. <laughs> banana. And you are great at repeating facts you learned one minute ago. Haha. Uh -huh. You know, talking about banana reminds me of the Minion movie. The Despicable Me. You know it? You must be know it because it's a. You all know it, right? right? It's a famous movie. The Minion. The Minion loves to say banana, and it reminds me of the Minion. When one of my friends in high school, in the English class, suddenly sings underwear the minion song you know minion just search for it underwear minion you should find it he silently sings that but then the teacher hears it and <laughs> oh boy you should look at the <laughs> at the shock expression in the teacher's face let us continue Oh my god, I am talking too much. This merit much to your embarrassment. Blah. See, I told you I'm not good at conversation. Oh, you're good. I mean, you both are talking comfortably. I'm just teasing, I don't mind. Is it coming up with conversation topic that's hard for you, more so than the conversation itself? I guess that's a la least part of it, yeah. In that case, I have a conversation topic that I'd like to ask you about. Can we stop talking about gossiping about Sunny's family? Hold you. Wondering what? Afraid. Aren't you afraid? Well, this is Sunny. If it's me, well, here is normal. But sometimes, you just need to go up front of the fear and punch it on the face. Like I'm going to do to Sunny's father if he's doing anything strange. Afraid of what? Everything. You seem to be taking all of this so well. Aside from a bit of anxiety around stranger, you're just going about your life. If it were me learning all those sort of things, I think I just break, I guess. I'm definitely scared, to be honest. Oh, you? Really? Yeah. I'm just controlling it. Don't... I'm definitely mad. I'm definitely sad. Um, oh. 
I doesn't look like it, but you just better learn to control it. That doesn't mean I'm not sad. That doesn't mean I'm not afraid, angry, or stuff. There are. It is simply that I direct it at the right time. You can tell. No, at all. If this is you putting on a brave act, then damn, girl, damn, girl, you do it really well. I guess I just don't express myself around people very often. That's all. So maybe even when I'm feeling down, down, it doesn't express properly. Why don't you do it? Do what? Express myself. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I guess I just don't like people making assumptions about me. That's all. What kind of assumption? I wouldn't make assumptions. Oh, that's sweet of you, okay? Well, to be fair, even though you haven't known me for too long, I feel like you are already known enough to not need to make assumption in the first place. It is weird. We haven't known each other that long, but you seem to know practically everything about me, which is strange. Which is why I kinda yeah, it is unsettling. Which is why I. Kinda distrust, distrust K, but I'm giving you the benefit of doubt as I said before. So, relax K. Relax. Why the silence? Don't do quiet all of a sudden, you're gonna make me feel awkward. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm glad though. Glad that you didn't mean that you made me feel awkward? Not at all. <laughs> no, it's not that. Glad you. But you think I know you well. I... What's with the silence? I hope I can learn even more about you. Like what? I already said you know all the important stuff. I want to know more than that though. The important stuff isn't all that matters. Hmm? Like, why oh, your favorite drink is strawberry lemonade? Ah, uh, that's the important stuff, but I want to know you personally. I want to know you, son. What animals you like? Have you ever had a pet? What kind of food do you enjoy? Hey, hey, do you want to be Sunny's pet? <laughs> no, that's really awkward. Why do I say that? That's some kind of strange. <laughs> that's some kind of strange fetish talk. <laughs> No, 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 I'm definitely not like that. Just joking. Let's continue. That sort of thing. Why would you want to know about that about me, though? I think so. I guess because you're my friend? Hmm. That sounds like sort of thing Shannon would say. I guess I sort of understand that, though. We have plenty of time to learn those unimportant... Hey! Those? When you say them unimportant, that is important. It's, it's it's about you. It's it's all about you. It's important thing. It's personal thing of you. Eh. You are so weird, you know. What? Why? <laughs> oh, she's embarrassed. You call it in unimportant, but to me, see, it is just as important as all the other stuff. Hey, you know, even. So oh, I kinda distrust you. We sometimes connect each other with. I agree with you. At some moment, like Sunny is, is cute. Sunny is interesting. Sunny is important. I agree with you one hundred percent. But anyway, I won't keep you too much longer. You'll get going soon. To you two already finished the drink. How about we skip the midnight chat? Yeah, sure, sure. Let's go. Keep it. Uh, yep. Honey needs a full night rest. Sounds pretty good after so many late nights. Oh, oh, oh stop teleporting. <laughs> Actually, you said you fo you use a voice assistant on your phone, right? Yeah, it does. What all you can you do with it? Can it read your screen or do a voice to text? Why do you? Uh -huh. You want to message each other? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The guest joining star. <laughs> Sunny, you it, you're becoming Shannon. You're promoting the social media. Uh huh. 
That's a good idea, Shu. He reaches into his pocket, then pulls his phone out and hands it to you. Wanna sign me up? Or you set up Cape Profile for him the same way Shannon did for you. That was really nice of you to suggest that. Thank you. I just figured it make things more convenient. That's all. Then I'll talk to you tomorrow, Sonny. Bye, Kay. Bye. Make a pause? Why not? What will... Natalia. Kay. Yourself, Natalia. I met this old girl today. She was dressed in really fancy clothes and introduced herself in a super strong, <laughs> super strong way. It was kind of creepy. Apparently, I have her username now. Am I supposed to call her, call or text her or something? What the freak is going on? I never expect Sunny to say what the freak, Sunny. But it's. I think it's normal for a girl her age. This generation. Sunday, finally, we have reached another day. You wake up unexpectedly early the next day. Who would have guessed that sleeping earlier actually does making waking up a happy day? It is. Oh my god. The three things in life that could make. I think there's four, I kind of forget. Let's say it's good food, three material things. Good food, good sleep. And good and clean house. That is that gonna make your life wonderful. Okay, I think I have to end this part right here because it will be too long if I continue. So see you later in the next part of Heart Fragment. We're still in Act 2. I hope we can reach Act 3 as fast as we can. Bye.